Tesgir ma gaif agus fach yr ofgoff yr elig yn y fwydio sa'r siol a cwmwn eich dri sgydd y fach. Mae'r ymsys at gwydiacw yr ymwyr sa'r siol ha sy'n i'n cwr o'ch gwyl ciad bleon o'ch ai bachion cholwyr i'ch agus griach y chlar gwahoffigol mae'r fachion. Fa, tôr gan y nubod stri a sy'n ac mae dyn yn ac y hen agus fag ynddi mae gan rwch gwahoffig. Ac ystoch, fer na chwol y sy'n i'n bwrdd mae ein at y sgydd ac yn hen, Sy'n bleon i'ch nhw'n siach. Fer logo fawr, y fwy niw'n gennym dilyn sgi ohono, y fan achwyd o'ch mŵr gais, yn ogos dy gymwyd dwch dyn dilyn y fasas ar y stri yn eri. Wel, yn nhw'ch chi'n dol chwaig yn bygyn mae gen yn dydd y hasiwn, y fer logo fawr siwn, y dol mae gennym dilyn hechyn eich, dol siôn yn anamgar. Ogos, cwyd o'ch nhw'ch nhw'n dwi'n 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 For those of you who don't speak Gaelic, uh, welcome to this video from Comunechtri Ski the Vach. Uh, as some of you may know, uh, we are marking this month the 100th anniversary of the establishing officially of the villages of Gress and Upper Col. We know many people took part in that struggle. Uh, some uh, went uh, to Edinburgh to take part in the advocacy. They were assisted by a skyman a lawyer, Donald Shaw. And it's about him we're going to hear tonight. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome uh, Lord Wingerish, the chairman of the Land Court to do so, because he has been uh, studying uh, the history of his fellow Skyman. Kondram, nara hwrd mi anishit, ha carichy o'r bwrd y cwrs dyn yrru, y mor ar Wingerish, y hyrwyd yn y bygyn rawns o'ch yw, gan y nyrru ha Shaw, dool mach i'n hennig, dool Shaw. Agus, mae'r erlog o hyn, yr yw ydy hamig heddwch, yw gyma'r tolyd chi fy gra, gyda'n asyn nid â'n sgi ohono y gol â chi'r dfon. Wel, ba mi ŵan fy sych tolyd chi'n yr yw ydy mi maech y dosych gyda'r sgi annach y fawn. Chi'n chwarae cael y gŵl ac am gyda'r sgi annach y fawn. Fi'n sy'n bydd clwyn chi'n maech y bydd yn as na siad yn gan y lyn i galaf. Mae yw'n yn nes o dol sia, sia sia, chan y mydd yw sia mach gyda'i gael ni. Dol sia, agos modd o gyfeigydd dol sia. A beg yn ddifwyd yw gydol o sefala cyn hyn ac yn awn sian, agos sia maed clar gyfalu. Agos fe gyda, o na ro dol sia, sian, chwyd ag a sian cerst, agos a, bod yn gan jôs o sian. Ac sy'n blio yn y cynnes jy o sian, han ag mae ta sian yn ddyn am y ddi ysg, agos sy'n mynd i chi'n gyd yn ein beg yn rawn sych yma jy. Agos fe dwi'n gwneud o'ch rawn ac fel bod gyda, At yn eition, dydo chi gaf yw yn y gnoch yn gael, ochr mae'r gaf tor dy fwyn gyda galdoch ac yn awn. Ac ys ahos i chi eisiau sy'n corych yn y gnoch gyda. Ac nid ychydig mis as ys rwt ac ys nid ahos i mi rawns o chi. Fan y holwch ys mor go, ffain yma ach gyda sgian o chi fan, gael o fan, gyda gael o chi gael, gyda rwg o gael yn y sleid o a'n noch chi ydy o'ch siarched sy'n hyn. Ac ys dydd o'ch gyda sgi annoch chi'n sgael y fan cochwl. Ac ys fa sian na fysh na chi go sa'n barach gan ymach mi oedd yn dyni. Ac ys na rwt o'n as yr oed sas. Ac ys ham i ydy fi mach sy'n siach as y niach chi a sian och a am y clyd sy'n cwbl yn y dyg na fi. Mae'n siarched fi hyd blion yn ys. Ac ys mae'r ysmo ham i cwddiodd os ydy dyni. Sa'n y siar hadden nhw cost o'n, ac sa'n y sloch fyrra, a mi'n ffaith gyda nubed yr ein. Wel, se ffyrdlog yfan, rhaid gyda ato neud yn, ac ys gyda ha sy'n i ddiol ochr, sa'n bobl stri yn eri, ac ys fa cwt fi sy'n gyda stri yn y fa sy'n gyma anamol, sa'n fa gyda rydw gyfod o'ch o'ch sa'n sa'n. Se ffyrdlog yfan, cwt o'ch 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 Cofa ca ffeg, na ddau fa ffein ta ffeg, roedd gyda'n y grawch gyda'n. Ys at ha syliad yn achlo dada gyda'ch gyda'ch hyn, ys o'n môr an hosga, ma fa gala'ch gyda'ch yn calitio dda hosga. Fa na fawl gan y Land League, ac ys ha afres ac yn ca greu'r chen, ystoch yfa peg y fôr chwch gan y 
Kaskushin of Eth, I guess, a cafe or shan of a rock and a grotje then. A few sekashen hain, well, as a here that you can king akam grandoshan ha, a few sekashen hain, soon the caroakian of Moran as as a duv shaga opid. A rare college, that you can galore. Uh, as uh, du ville marka be gan gan factors of ekan the nation uh at yon zat gan yet ne ek ked ga wa ko you ek ked ga wa gan yet ne pa ko van it uh gan ye fa va chele ke dit tune va pa ko ta sa photoshop kro chon ko vi tiano shun so ha ha piece ak so ne short scots man han han so ko na vote ne hör mir na na wo fer alle anamal at jelan sti ono as a grand Scotsman, Monday, October the 18th, 1920. Uh, ha, uh, Lewis Land Trouble. Uh, follow, uh, following on the Lord Advocate's mission to Lewis on behalf of the Secretary of State, Secretary for Scotland, the Land Raiders consulted their legal advisor, Mr. Donald Shaw, SSC Edinburgh, with regard to the, the proposals put put forward by Mr. Morrison and practically placed themselves in his hands. Mr. Shaw arrived in Stornoway late on Friday night and proceeded early on Saturday to Bath and Col, the chief centre of the land agitation in the island, where he found a large number of the raiders awaiting him in the schoolhouse. After an informal conversation with the two leaders, Mr. Donald Campbell and Mr. Murdo Graham, Mr. Shaw met with a general body of the raiders. The meeting, which was a private one lasted over two hours and eventually it was announced that a decision had been arrived at largely on Mr Shaw's advice favourable to the evacuation of the lands in order to enable the government and the Board of Agriculture to deal with the whole question of land settlement and also to permit of the reinstatement of the large number of men who were dismissed from the Stornoway Industrial Works. The terms of the letter to be sent to the Lord Advocate were considered and approved and Mr Shaw was instructed to deliver the letter on his return to Edinburgh. It is understood that this letter contains the full terms of the arrangement arrived at. Mr Shaw also had an interview with Provost Smith Stornoway regarding the whole situation. Well, uh, has has a little girl. Oh, I saw some of the door to the Yimmerston. Um, son, um, and the Vartersai. Now, could you rock in the court than on the Vartersai? Uh, Gav Shalav in the Edin Yelanishan, um, and a long kit yuks a shea. San Lubshen Renya Kluga Hain Dasher, Shanna Hiat Case Mora Vekamarka View. Ach made the Suez Trane Helen in Nier, Baruch Gafian, and the Peplish Gary, and the Nuishta Tour, and the Scarasta Vek as Naherig, a Chapin and the Lewis, Bachestol and the Lewis, Kutcher. Uh, agus as a Nielan Skianach, uh, Stra Arsht, uh, Raj, I uh, forgot a case again more Eleveke, some, some uh, who've um, caught it in a bit Tien as Ellen Rone, two in Raj, I guess about Sakaki, I guess Hattik in a hokal, in a ten hokal, he is a Kanakis Raj. Uh, Mushan, but Hanel Shanach to the Pekan, to the um, Glevik and a and a cushion as a sas, but a sas and a cushion. It's fjag. Can you make a little bit of a gale? Dark a young haro more and it is chill more. Can you miss moon? Yes, on us in Helen and a board which can a cushion and a milk you as a royal sas. I guess Sherut my yearn, I guess ha be so here in the Levig, honey, get helping. Get the camera of Kudishava call of my Earl Burger. I guess had that of the kind of my own shanagas, Tilemikan Shanagasta. Ach, Sherutava involved my own, Hamasava et Suikin, that of a Elijah, I guess, Frackerst, Kast, Kielbach, er, er, ein. Vat Mahatunia Hosh Kondo de Hale, Vat Mahatilik de Lok Politics. 
ma tielik is is real to skat of a real to so lock a ma abadis of my yearn for am go am. But if I could get agitated, I found that I had something on the Joshua. And I, I, but what was the ma is first line is see in a vetilla. Now, the Hamira, Nahalesak and Likin, Kudisha Kodok Mar, Mar El Loga, Shamikil the Haleshishan, the Sihin as a Vela Norke, Ha Loikna Eri, Loik and Nui, the Crotidans and the Cortidan, while Loik is Tuv, the Fjord Lisharod Halov, the Hurkre. I guess Shabiga Tachest, I guess Hakashas, have all the Hulas Suyah as a Roy Sars, Shabiga Tachest, Kadachre. Raid, you read it then, as go at Shalav is Talav, Hoshi got the Kuthpandar the can, took out the hen, or took him in Josh Shen. Vigadurkran the Muyagara, Hano Prikishen, Vigadurkran the notion of Tolka Varka down the Kutjan, the Kush Jason, and the Donatian, no, on the Kush and Inatal, late Jornav, I guess, for three. I guess a fine Oster Kushler, her son. Krachtje dan goed varen jaren, dus goed ook varen varen jaren dat er wat het schalaf gaat. Dus gaan een krachtje dan noorsen. Wel gaan nooren gaan je. Ik heb maar eens een plek. Dus je gaat aan de raas zijn. Varen raad tuin je het tien als Ellen Rowney. Nee, je weet waar kusen het Ellen Rowney een genaam die de geen skwissel. Waar kusen jaren je de bijam er zijn malen hier in de krachtje aan de aan de Rowney. Ach, maar wat zou je gaan zo raad tuin je de nielatje een gebouw een genaam naar raad waar de 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 kusen jaren malse bier hier gaat. Waar de smijnige kruid ulke leed mij recent ik heb ik tuin je voeder. As sources of Yahas Ras. I guess Mushan. Now the Yahas and Shalav is Talav is to a can Jess Ellen Raj, right? So how she had to talk out there in the Shen. I guess who is Durkran, um, she company Lishara Raj, I know William Baird and company, but the Gopraha men in Erin and the Raj, I can me hear the hockey. Agus hasha kal aki an anankit yek se pichet ti da kas joi hiet haki. Hu e da sen aastan van dira man na bostri vas a chon na krachje den hud faran faran talo be vashe. Ach vadra well kanurun ganje kali ana. Kanil kanurun ganje kanurun be vesule ke kanurun ganje galadash ke elan rawne. Hati anchen che yon ha ha ulik leid mi raisende. Agus an oshen she na he krat. Va sen kafaklan as yeh fara rot ap dich jeg loy. Fa at det jult og ostan kulst og elendig. Eg es chenne schoss as yeh as as a bug ehm don scha noch gras na kulst und noch ge kulst und dran na bostri as lehne ehm reda dan va sen eg es reine yeh in yeh the sun a hu va lag besat va so yeh va va gagun as yeh va at the lag of this year, I guess, game of penis a chadak in a viam. I guess, hai kanya kok not a jirk a dunya a chud is na rashich na na ronich. Chala dedeke chanach ga hami kitchen kafu te kudye ganila bia da feag. Ach, the politics stuff of leib shan kudye chadyaf yi feag a guess mwrshen hai at gandat vizan shan shan shia, hai bin shia shachginan a chud ara. Ach, Agus mus she shen rutami kiel gna na ra hamira karol doig noi go on marka bi agus mus shen kebela te de fjena ba maxen sat ke ke khamasa va mara doig e de khasa na sakhush marka bi hyun va na so yeh uma basakh te de ach kapti ke mara va shen va uma basakh uma basakh ma e de so yeh a line shakh u es kadyog Kushin and Nui Makabie. I guess the Mavsa Madi Chapiar man Magadi de Van as late in the Krochter then. I guess we got good Kushin a toy, we got good a toy, Mark Canadras and Ron Hashana Hail, good gun of these and none on your niche, then your kind of got a Dunica Gunyahan and your niche, got a cash markans, got a fadi the Hodoras. Gerade at den Kerzen sind ja ich gemacht. Ich bin so nur schon hausig hier. Es immerst erst dann fein süd. 
kan vinn i ett fat, kan ske saken i ett fat, och ska ha det frisen. Agus, vad ska ni köpa på det här? Nu var det en sån här kul och morgon gönje, så att det påplåg var vår kutt och gönje, kan ni prata om skatsman och marka by, vad kan ni göra? Vår kutt och gönje är typ en krak i den. Agus, mae'r sain ymwneud rhywbeth o'r sain ymwneud gael gan y sain. Agus, gyda trych sy'n rhywbeth o'r sain ymwneud gael 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 Ved misje as lé na fjöny hedin jæren gael og ka digat jæ, og ska njøra til lyskola gael, og ska fyddig at jæ, kan na djett na kråten en gruach, og ska jævna na kråten. Og ska måske, ek kan halv batar ut i takkerst, haro, at et min kroi gyn gan na fjöny hæg gan na fdysen, ka jú asin fri og mye na vater sig, wel na na barig ka jú hæg i vater sig, Nå nå råd ég nå hægjust ég. Það er mig ráðið þinja ekki því fyrir þess af því sem það fætt sér við bín en gjöram nå bín og kúst og ekki jú. Það er það fæn að trá og ekki hann há. Það er það fæn að rúta það gýra sér sér kráttin gæð pein. Það er mig kynjur ekki að hulla þinja því að það er að kráttin gæð hein að hulla vór hug. Ég er fyrir mig sem að það er hulla kæl gann að sjá að takkast. Gæð að þess að það er 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 Gæt ég gæl ekki gama, því ég fjöðin ég vassar hakku, augus, var mörsjön, var moral takk marka byg, ég þúf, ná kráttið þinn, augus, ná sætið þinn, ná sjóðið þinn, ég hýl hassar hakku, augus, vart með ég þig hál, ach, ach, leið, dyljöðis, vart að fæn, vart að fæn kráttið, gæf pein. Mörsjön, gæt nachra sjáð, Gæt nachra að sæða fyrir hæl as a húst, vá sæða vachal as a fnýja vrúd vá kudrein a sér sér talaf ein gann a dunja vá rúkkach a fara a fyrta gæt bjóðan is bæ úr a jæna vá gæi pein. Agus vá ha fólasjöch a sætt vann a líktið gæna vá tíðan sér fála eitra heins til fjöðna vá sér fnýsan. Gá erapsjöch sér vát as agus gá missal sér vát eitt. Vá erapsjöch vór ach gæ vá tæk Ég er mjög að það er 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 að Agus mae'n sy'n bach caas ys o'n hafas o'ch blwg ys o'n hafas o'ch mysal. Ha liwch chi ddawn fa er domach gloed, fa'r gana rôn eich, fa'r sy'n ffeithio'n o'n nyrion eich rha. Dear Mr. Shaw, we cannot return to our homes in Rona. Ach, dear Mr. Shaw, fa'r o'n hafas o'ch o'n hafas o'ch mysal ydyn ni, agus fa'r dyn ni adi. Ai, dyn nhw'ch gari ddw sy'n ys... Na fe da hwt o'n sy'n gerafa gyda fasa ffi sy'n fasio'n dos y sgots na'n agos y cwrys y gys y gagau nhw o'ch yn anem yn dod dois ond fe'n ysgydd ac yn eich rhoi gwylwch cynnig o'ch de fa dwl sioch yn o'r gaeaf na roach yn o'r cael gaeaf ac gyda rafa as y leor y hat yn ymach ac gyda eich na meos yn y sioch yn eich drys yn eich cael yn tygr o'ch o'r eich eile ma'n mynd eifig an y cost yn y sy'n gwrw ag yma ffwl o'ch sioch Bwyd yn lych chi'n eich dwl caipol sy'n eich golt agos mor o'ch greim o'ch sy'n eich yn bwg. Sdiach yn eich hwyr slaf gyda nhw'n eich hapeu iad sy'n eich rhyw yn ysgrif sy'n eich sy'n eich lafer sy'n ysgrif yn ffyrdd log a'r sy'n eich bwysyn. Chyrwch chyfwch cael y fath sgrif yn eich sy'n eich hwn na'n am eich hefyd yr. 
Mm-hmm. Och vad kan man, kan man inte kunna se att humen är något som känns vad som är att det är inte vad man utgör det. Kan man hur som är asen och någon karan med är att se asen kör. Har man inte kunnat se att man låter sig skriva med en kön. Så Ich habe geschrieben, in der Jesbet als ein Fahrlamet, und dann kommt man dann als ein Hedin, manche Tüg, Fichet zu Tri. Und so könnte ich dann von der Wurst, Wurst, nach der Geschrieben, auf der Halbe. Und so, we were informed that Mr. D. Shaw, the Land League and similar people, and similar people are out to exploit this case for inter alia their own ends. The Labour MPs, after Wednesday's debate, were in a reasonable mood and gave the government credit for reasonableness. It was therefore thought expedient to come to terms with the opposition before they got the, before they were got at during the weekend. <laughs> At the van Pool Parliament Labrach, um uh Anno Gunni, um uh Mas Fight Mas Dugat Yachi Yakajakan, Mas Fay Dunya Legin Jaj Kramer, va a real to Sean uh Satinka Kaguna Hadikan uh Lawson. Um I shan't gain shit or would not have been me and we were informed that Mr D Shaw, the Land League and similar people are out to exploit this case for Interalia their own ends. It was therefore thought expedient to come to terms with the opposition before they were got at during the weekend. I guess that 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 Let's continue uh, uh, talking in English now, which is a kind of strange for myself <laughs> and Lord Mingdish, because I can't remember Never speaking happened in before. English to each other before. <laughs> we'll give it a try. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, no. So let, let's go back again, just a, a, a recap of who Donald Shaw was, you know, where he came from in Sky, how he came to be this uh, Edinburgh solicitor, uh, and, and how you got interested in them yourself, first of all. Yes. Um, well, even in the 1960s, uh, 20 years or so after Shaw's death, um, his stock was still very high in crofting circles. As I remember from personal experience, because my father was the township clerk of uh, North Talisker um, um, at that time, uh, and uh, the community was... Um, uh, there was one of those uh, episodes which from time to time convulse crofting communities. And uh, my father was in the middle of it because he was the clerk, the township clerk. Um, and um, he used to say, ah, if Donald Shaw was here, you know, if Donald Shaw was here, um, he would he would represent us. He would sort this out. And I had no idea who Donald Shaw was. But I came across the name years later after I decided to study law myself and after I'd qualified, I think, in fact. Um, and I thought, well, yes, he was obviously a well-regarded um, Edinburgh lawyer, but it was as an Edinburgh lawyer I thought of him because he practised in Edinburgh and he lived in Edinburgh. Um, and it was only when, many years later, um, I began to research the man uh, that I found, to, to my great delight, that he wasn't an Edinburgh man at all, um, that he came um, from Slate in Skye, that he was a Gaelic speaker, uh, a Gael through and through. Um, uh, his father was the schoolmaster at Tormor uh, School in Slate. Donald was bo- born there in 1871. His father was from Duranish, possibly from Waternish, uh, and his mother from Slate. So sky on both sides, sky through and through. 
a gale through and through. Uh, and uh, although he ended up practicing in Edinburgh and practiced, spent his whole professional life practicing from Edinburgh, never forgot his roots, never forgot uh, the background, never forgot the poverty he had seen um, growing up uh, and went out of his way. Talk about going the extra mile. Donald Shaw went extra thousands of miles uh, to to represent uh, clients in terms of travelling backwards and forwards from Edinburgh to the islands, but also from time to time down to London when that was necessary to speak to politicians, government uh, officials, and so on down there. And and he was he was very very good at that. Well, he wasn't your typical lawyer in in many ways, and he was indeed involved with Gress. Uh, and Upper Col uh, and uh, many of the other communities throughout the islands, especially uh, uh, that had uh, grievances at the end of the First World War and uh, just before then. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, he made his name really in the Vattersea case, which preceded the First World War by quite a while. Uh, 1906 was when there had been sporadic raids from Batter, from Barra uh, on Battersea, which was uh, owned by Lady Cathcart at that time and tenanted to McGilvery's, I think, who were tenant farmers there. Um, there had been sporadic raiding before that, but in uh, 1906, um, several men from Barra went uh, to uh, Vatersey and um, began planting crops there and and building huts there um, and eventually action had to be taken and uh, although in fairness to her um, not many people have gone out of their way to be fair to uh, Lady Cathcart um, she was reluctant to go to court about the matter uh, but eventually she, she felt she had to she got interdicts uh, against them um, from the Court of Session in Edinburgh. Um, they persisted in staying on the land, therefore they were in breach of interdict. They were summoned to court in Edinburgh. Uh, they couldn't pay their fares, so Lady Cathcart paid their fares for them. Um, they appeared in Edinburgh to, to scenes um, orchestrated by Donald Shaw. He chaired a committee uh, which uh, looked after them when they were in Edinburgh, um, had them met off the train, etc., etc., had them refused to allow them to be driven to prison because they were sentenced to a period of imprisonment in the prison van um, and instead um, uh, organised cabs to take them through a cheering crowd uh, on their way to the Carlton uh, jail. So he was very, very um, good at that sort of thing. And that uh, really made his name. So after that, after um, the Vattersea case, he was the go-to man in those situations of land agitation um, where um, crofters and cottage were facing charges of breaking interdicts. Um, and, 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 and the same pattern is, is replicated many, many times in situations throughout the islands. Well, as we heard in that uh, bit from the Scotsman I read earlier on, he was indeed involved with uh, Col and Gress, although some of us might not have been aware of that. He was, in, yeah, and, he, and he actually came to the, to the district. Uh, and it is said also that he composed many of the letters that went in on from uh, uh, people like uh, Donald Campbell and, and Murdo Mur Graham. Uh, and, but there was a pattern to the way he did these things, wasn't there? In the sense that uh, he, he wasn't not breaking the law, but he, he, was, he was outside the law and they were outside the law in what they were trying to do at the time, weren't they? Yes, he was always acting for people who uh, had breached the law and there's no two ways about it. <laughs> Um, uh, and because they had breached the law, um, they had to be punished. And I'd like to think, um, and there is cause to think, that sheriffs and judges in the Court of Session were very reluctant to um, impose um, any kind of punishment, but they felt they had to. They, um, so they moderated, uh, mitigated the punishment as, as best they could. Um, but... Uh, both they and Shaw were in a difficult position because um, the law left them ve very few, indeed no, uh, options. 
they've broken the law, there must be a penalty. The penalty would either be a fine or a period of imprisonment or a fine which, if not paid, uh, then a period of imprisonment. Um, so he had limited room for manoeuvre when he appeared in court, but he was very ingenious um, uh, outside the courtroom, so to speak. And nowhere is that better illustrated than um, in his representation of um, cottage from Rona, the island of Rona, who had occupied the south end of Rasi. Uh, in uh, 1920. And Razi was at the time owned by William Baird and Company, uh, who had been operating iron mines uh, in the island during the First World War. So they were the landlords. Um, interdict was obtained from Portree Sheriff Court. Um, they refused to go back to Rona because the conditions there were so unbearable. Um, so they were in breach of interdict. Um, there was... Um, uh, a raid at two o'clock in the morning, which uh, several of them were arrested, taken clandestinely, clandestinely to to Portree and kept there really until uh, Shaw could come from Edinburgh to represent them. Um, and he eventually there were at least two hearings uh, in in that case. Um, and uh, at the final hearing, he came up with the suggestion that. Um, since the mines in Razi had closed um, pretty much immediately after the First World War, uh, all the miners' houses that Bairds had built um, in Inverarish were vacant. So why not um, have the uh, the raiders um, put up in those uh, cottages uh, uh, until a permanent solution was um, for their problems was uh, arrived at? And that's that's exactly what happened. Um, he got he got the landlords uh, whose court order had been breached uh, to come to an agreement with I think the Board of Agriculture. They they paid the landlords uh, a rent and then um, um, leased the the houses out to to the to the raiders until such time as uh, crofts were formed uh, in the south end of Razi and they took possession of those. So. Uh, an ingenious operator who quite often got um, the landlord um, to be part of the solution, so to speak. And did a man for his time who might not have had the same success uh, uh, in other ages, but he was a, a, an ordinary lawyer in many ways. He had his law practice because what he was doing on behalf of the crofters certainly wouldn't make him a, a rich man. And what is the story or is there a story after this time, as far as Donald Shaw is concerned? Um, his representation of crofters went on for a very long time, into the 1930s, uh, by which time what he was mainly involved in on their behalf was the de-rating of uh, croft houses. Uh, and Vernesha had decided to impose rates on um, croft houses. Um, that had not been the case um, before then, and that was resisted. And Donald Shaw uh, played uh, his part in representing them. First of all, um, before the Valuation Appeal Committee in Portree, uh, and then um, he instructed counsel on their behalf when the case went to the Lands Valuation Appeal Court in Edinburgh. Um, but he was still involved in crafting matters into the uh, 1930s, but but it had tapered off because that land agitation had tapered off uh, by then. Uh, so one assumes that he had a, a general practice where he would do conveyancing wills, that sort of thing, perhaps some other court work uh, as well. Um, and he seems to have done well enough at it because although, as you say, uh, Kenny, um, he would have made very little money, one imagines, out of representing um, crofters. And I'm not sure how he was paid for that, possibly by the Land League, but in any event, that didn't make him a rich man. Um, but when he died in 1944, um, he and his wife by that time had a small portfolio of, of properties, I think five properties uh, over and above the house in Gilmore Place in which they lived and the office from which he practiced. Uh, and in addition to that, um, left um, 11,000 pounds in cash or shares and that sort of thing. Uh, a not inconsiderable sum in 1944. So um, he was not latterly, at least, a poor man, uh, but he's a, a man who exerted himself just 
without limit on, on behalf of the crofters. And in his younger days, he wouldn't he wouldn't have been very well off. Uh, so uh, one imagines that he, he made um, most of his living from, if you like, ordinary practice uh, as a solicitor in, in Edinburgh. It's worth saying that um, he and his wife had two sons, both of whom went into the law, both of whom joined their father's practice. And they seem to have inherited his social conscience because uh, they amassed a very large trade union practice. Uh, so they were often representing the, the underdog, just as their father had done before them. So, so that's interesting. But sadly, neither of them married, neither of them left issue. So there is no one directly uh, descended from, from Donald and his wife. Uh, but given that Donald was one of a family of seven, there must be plenty of people, uh, presumably some of them still in Sky, who who are descendants uh, of uh, relatives of his, uh, siblings of his. Um, but I've I've not been able to, I haven't made much of an effort in the way of trying to find them. But I'm sure a, a proper professional um, researcher who knew what he was doing. Uh, could make short work of it. But I think that's an interesting point that uh, his um, sons uh, practiced in the area of uh, you know, trade union work and, as I say, representing the uh, underdog. So there was a strong social conscience there. Unfortunately, but unsurprisingly, the, 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 the firm's papers have long since disappeared. Uh, there was a series of um, takeovers and amalgamations and so on. Uh, I traced it all the way down to relatively recent times, um, but the, the papers have long since disappeared, which is a great, great shame because um, what we have is of correspondence. The government records, of course, are meticulously kept and indexed and complete. Uh, but it would be great to have Donald's files and uh, some of the letters she, all the letters she wrote to officialdom, of course, they are extant. But the correspondence with his clients, the correspondence with the Land League, that would be really, really uh, interesting stuff. But sadly, it seems to be lost to us. And, and as so many other things that we now see of value, have been lost over the years. Well, I used no. to hear that my grandfather had been threatened with prison, so it wasn't really a lie because they were threatened with, with prison and oh, yeah. uh, legal action and things like that, like many others. So that our story for Gress and Col uh, owe a lot to these people who came back from the First World War uh, who weren't mm -hmm. frightened anymore of anybody having seen, seen war here all over Europe uh, and all over, the, all over the world, some of them. Uh, when they came back, uh, uh, they had no land uh, for themselves or their families, and they took part in these raids. And the fact of their success owes a lot to this man, who many of us have not really heard about until very recently. Uh, Donald Shaw, well worthy of being remembered and given a an honoured place in the annals of uh, Scottish law, isn't he? Surely, yes, very much so. Well, ha. Uh, Thank you very much indeed uh, for helping us. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with this business in English because I haven't spoken. I, I, say, I haven't <laughs> spoken to Clark on a hard how would you put that? Uh, for, 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 uh, remembering this man who is indeed worthy of remembrance and maybe should uh, be remembered more than he has been over the la last uh, number of years. And uh, thank you very much indeed uh, for speaking to us here, here tonight. Uh, and I hope. Uh, those of you who have been watching have learned something about a man who is uh, worth knowing a bit more about, Donald Shaw, the Sky Solicitor. And thanks indeed to uh, Lord Mingnish, the Chairman of the Land Court, for being with us here tonight. More thank you to Peter Abbe, August Geisha, Heskerma, some of the most important videos I can show. I come and actually give it back.